Today, I have 10 new fall tier tray ideas for you. Keep watching. I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own. All right, we're gonna start off with window cleans and some little signs. These are chalkboard signs that I got at Dirt Cheap, but you can get some at the Dollar Tree, something similar. Since this is for inspiration, might not find the same things, but we can get similar things. And a lot of these signs, you can just press with your fingers and pop the back out. If you can, you can do it that way. If not, then you can paint it white. Then you're gonna take some scrapbook paper or any type of decorative paper that you like. Something with a fall theme would be great if you're doing a fall tray. I'm just gonna put that back down on there and flip it over. Wouldn't matter one way or the other, actually. And then you're gonna trace out around it. Take your scissors and cut it out or use any type of a cutter that you have to get that the right size to cover up that background. I like this print because it looks like fall to me, fall or Christmas even. It's kind of black, white, gray, really pretty neutral colors. I'm gonna use my glue stick to go all over this. You can use any type of glue stick you have you can use Mod Podge if you would prefer. And we're just going to press that on. Smooth it down so it gets a good grip on your surface. I don't need these little hangers, so I'm just going to cut these off. We're going to be using it on a tear tray so it doesn't need a hanger. Now this should snug right back in there. You don't necessarily have to use glue on these. They pretty much stay where they're put but I will use some glue to put it down. So I've just chosen a couple of little of these clings that I liked that would be cute on a tear tray or maybe a coffee bar. I love the little sweater weather and it looks really cute with that background. And it almost makes the sweater look like it has a little plaid design on it. So that was our first one and we're gonna move on to the second one. These are so easy something so simple for you if you're especially if you're a first time tiered tray decorator you can definitely try something like this and it, it's a lot of fun to do it fun and easy it's just repetitive right now i'm going to take my little coffee cup pumpkin spice sign and put that down and i decided i wanted to add a little something else to that so i'm going to put a pumpkin there now all of these came off of the same sheet of clings from Dollar Tree. You can use any of them though. Alright, so I'm just going to take my glue gun here and put a bead of glue all the way around, just a light bead of glue all the way around the inside so that it doesn't pop out of the frame. It will actually stay in there if you get your paper trimmed up correctly, but I think I'm going to keep these around a while, so I'm just going to glue them down. I'm going to use my little handy dandy paperweight and put it down just to hold these in place until they dry. Moving on to the next, I'm going to use a little more of that same paper. One of these little pins. This is just a metallic pin that I got from Goodwill. It's from Office Depot, I think. I tried the color and I like it. So I'm just going to cover this Give Thanks to put on the other sign. Now you can clearly tell when you look at this, this is too big to fit in the inside of the frame. It's too large for that, but we want it to overlap. It's gonna give it some dimension and it's gonna give it kind of an interesting look. So when it's all colored and the pen dried very quickly, I was able to work with it immediately. I'm gonna glue that back in and you'll see how we put the give thanks on. So I'm just gonna see where I wanna put it and I like it sitting on the outside. So just a little hot glue there and put my give thanks right on top. There you go. There's our third sign. All four of these signs are gonna coordinate and I'm gonna show you shortly how that works. Okay, so these are just some little chipboard pieces of 
pumpkin scatter, I guess you would call it. And they came from Target originally, but I got them from uh, Dirt Cheap, I believe, last year. So I'm just getting an idea of which ones I want to put in there. And I'm going to make this kind of a 3D thing like this. The little squatty pumpkin is going to go in the background. And I pushed it up to the top so you can see more of it behind the other pumpkins when we layer those on. I'm going to add some glue right on the corners, making sure that my pumpkin doesn't hang over the bottom because we want this to stand. And that the gourd here is in the same type of um, situation. We don't want anything to prevent it from standing up straight because it's going to be standing. So here are our little signs and we're going to put a little stand on the sign so that it will hold itself up when we put it on the tiered tray. I'm going to add some hot glue, press down a little wood jingle block from Dollar Tree, just like that, and it will be able to stand. Now you can start embellishing. You can do anything you want to make this your own. I'm just going to use a little tiny bow from Juke right on the top of my little pumpkin in the background so that you don't forget he's back there. Okay, so here you go. Just showing you what these all look like, how they look together. Hey, if you want to show me some love, you can buy me a coffee. Look in the description box for the link. Thanks. You can see how these look together. And these. Everything coordinates nicely. So you could use maybe a few of these on your tear tray and a few of these on your coffee stand. They look really nice together, I think. All the colors. Cute. What do you think? These were so easy to make. Okay, so using the same clings, I'm going to use these wood rounds. This is just another idea of something you can do if maybe you prefer a more rustic look. You can take one of your clings and put it on a wood slice. These are actually ornaments that I got from Goodwill, but you can certainly get these at the craft stores, especially around Christmas time. So you just choose which one is going to be the best fit for your cling. You don't want anything hanging over because it could peel off. And you're just going to put your glue on there and then place it down. Now I've specifically put it where it covers up the stem. It really wouldn't matter one way or the other. I'm going to use another one of these wood pieces. This one's a little chunky piece that came in a bag from Dollar Tree. I'm making sure that it will lay flat. And then I'm going to take the flat part of that wood round, press those together so that it will stand on its own. Otherwise, it'll just roll around. You could definitely use a jingle block on the back of these two, but you'll be able to see it. And I was trying to cover that up. So again, choosing the round that you like the best and placing your designs on. I think this is a very rustic look. And then just using a different piece of wood from the longer um, wood bags that you can get at Dollar Tree. Just gonna get, I'm just giving you options here. So, you know, you're going to see a lot of different stuff. I'm going to cut one of these clings. You can do it very easily. And then glue it down. Kind of at an angle. And I'm going to use another little stick in the back to hold it up. And this is what these three look like. All right, then here we go with some pumpkin ornaments. You get these also at the Dollar Tree. You can use those stains from Dollar Tree furniture repair markers. I'm going to use some paper and a different uh, window cling set. So I've chosen maple as my color, and I'm going to color this pumpkin about a quarter of the way down. So I'm just making my line and filling it in there. Use whatever color you like. And then I'm going to use my plaid paper on the bottom half. Blue stick. I'm going to get it down really nicely on all the edges and corners. And then I'm going to place my paper down. Press it down and then trim it out. Then you can take your sanding block and just go around the edges. Okay, once that's done, choose which one of these you want to use, and we'll be putting that down again with the glue stick. 
These are such easy projects. I know you're going to be trying at least one of these, right? Of course, but the best is yet to come, so don't click away yet. Okay, so we're just gonna press that down. And yes, you can see it's a little bit um, kind of smoky looking. It's not completely crystal clear that you can see all the way through it, but I don't mind that, that's okay. Then I'm gonna take my Mod Podge, and this is my matte Mod Podge. I'm gonna go over the whole thing so this will stay down. All of these layers will stick together, the wood, the paper, and the window clean. And I'll let it dry. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of checked or gingham ribbon, and I'm going to make just a little simple bow to go on the top of it. This is a good way to cover up the little hole in the top. Just pull it until you get it the right length and then trim up those tails. This is super cute. There you go. Follow me on my social media, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. I'll be happy to see you there. Okay, now for my favorite two, we're gonna use these monogram pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I have a P and an A, and I'm gonna show you how you can take these apart. They're in two different layers here. You're gonna take a thin wooden roller or maybe a, a thin butter knife or something and just pry it gently underneath. It's just held down by glue, no nails. Then pull off the bow. Same thing here. We're gonna go underneath, press, try not to pull or break that top layer. And then we're gonna pull it off. Pull that bow away. Now we have two pieces for each one of these pumpkins that we can work with. And we're gonna do them in opposites. I'm going to take some of this scrap paper that we just used so that our items will coordinate. I'm going to trim it, cut it out, and now I'm going to put the glue on it, press it down, simple, simple. I'm using the smooth side of that A. Either way, it will fit. And then the glue strip that's on the back is almost like rubber cement. It comes off so easy. I just pried the corner and then pulled it off. Now, some options, you can use scrapbook paper, you can use that cork board, whatever you like to use. But for me, on this orange pumpkin, I am going to use this beautiful plaid paper that I've had for a few years. You can see that it came from Target originally, but I got mine at Dirt Cheap. I have traced it out and trimmed it down. Now, I'm going to lay this beautiful, beautiful blue and orange plaid paper down on top of this pumpkin. And using my wood ruler, I'm just going to smooth it all out. It is a little bit of texture on there, so you know I'm just making sure that I press it down nicely. Now you can see there is an overhang from the paper, which is not a problem. We're gonna go around with a sanding block and just clean up those edges. You can see how that paper just frays away and falls off. Gives it a nice look. All right, now I wanna add some leaves to this pumpkin. I'm going to trim down some of my large burlap leaves. Bet you know where these came from. Dollar Tree. Yep, you guessed right. Of course. Okay, hopefully they'll still have these. I got mine last year, so I had some left. Then I'm going to also use the oak leaf. So I have part of the maple leaf that I've cut, part of the oak leaf that I've cut. And I'm just trying to find the position that I like on the pumpkin for my little leaves. You know, I generally put everything to the left, but for some reason, I wanted this on the right. So here I am trying it on the right, and this is why I haven't glued the center section down yet. I want to put the leaves on first. Since I know I want them to overlay like that, I'm just going to hold them and glue them that way. Using my little ruler here. Yes, I used it as a paint stirrer, so it looks terrible right now. Still serves its purpose, though. I love it. All right. Again, holding that in place because I know that's the right placement for it, I'm gonna add some hot glue and press it down. Protect your fingers. There is a chance that the glue can come through the burlap. I'm gonna take my hot glue, put it all over this layer of the pumpkin, and put it back in place. But wait, we're not done. We have a little something extra. Let's add a pretty bow. This is some ribbon that my friend and neighbor gave to me from her stash when she was cleaning out her supplies. 
and it's a very pretty little ribbon with little I don't even know what you call that trim on it it's cute though I'm gonna do another one of those super simple bows this video is all about simplicity so I'm gonna yep that's the right size just like that I'm gonna take two little pieces of jute the same size and I'm going to at the same time make the exact same type of bow pull it out make it look nice trim it down then I'm going to trim that bow that ribbon bow down to the same size and just decide how I want to layer these on the pumpkin hey if you haven't subscribed already I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family we are over 3,000 so that's a milestone and I'm so happy to be there thank you for all of your support and love Here's my pumpkin. What do you think about it? Cute. Okay, so going on to the next pumpkin. This is how it's going to look, and we want to embellish the plaid section. I'm going to put my middle back on the pumpkin. You could paint the background if you wanted, but I like it just the way it is. I like the white there. And I've chosen this pumpkin out of a set of uh, vinyl cutouts that were originally from Target, and I got them at Dirt Cheap. I'm going to put this down. I'm not using, I'm not going to use any um, transfer paper because I want you to see this can be done. You just have to be patient and careful in your placement. Okay, so now we have our little pumpkin down there and it looks super cute. I've got some coppery looking wired ribbon here and it's like a sheer ribbon and also some of the same gingham ribbon that I used on another project. In this video and I'm just gonna trim it up too and I'm gonna make a pretty bow for it so this bow is a little bit different I'm just gonna cross it over and then walk the middle down to the bottom just like that I'm gonna pinch it up and then you can use some type of a clip to hold it in place while you work on the next layer of your bow and this is going to be this one same little simple bow and then we're just going to add that right on the top. I'm going to use another piece of that ribbon to tie those together. And that's going to give us some extra check tails. Tie that tightly in the middle. Hold it in place. Put another knot in there so it's not going anywhere. Then you can fluff it and you can trim it where you want to trim it. shouldn't need any extra hot glue to hold anything together it should stay there nicely for you and I know that I want to put it right up there where the original bow was I'm gonna put it there and use this clamp to hold it down until it is dry and set up and this is how this pumpkin looks what do you think about that one cute huh okay so back to the little pumpkin that we made before we use the stand just like on the other ones. All right, so I've got a bunch of my projects all together in this to show you how everything coordinates nicely and how much potential your own crafts can can do. And look, look at what we've used. Dollar Tree and thrifted items. Look at this. I want to know which of these projects was your favorite. Was it the little the picture type? signs that we made was it the wood slices or did you like the pumpkins in the end the best or maybe it was the little ornament pumpkin i would love to know what you think thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate every one of you and i will see you again soon bye